Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how a voice meter can make your mic sound tons better with a free software. To do this, you need voice meter banana, it's all free, and an audio point for extra stuff. The voice meter banana is free, you can get it on this website, vbaudio.com slash voice meter, I'll prop that in the description below, just check that. Um, you can scroll down, hit the install button, it'll download your voice meter setup and then you can install it. All right. Once you've installed that, you should, uh, it probably prompts you to open up voice meter, do that, and it'll probably cut out the audio. Don't worry, it's probably jump to either your voice meter input or your voice meter aux input. You can just set that back to your normal audio device. I have a virtual cable because I have a little advanced setup I will do after like the basics. And then you open up voice meter banana. This is voice meter banana. Um, you have your hardware input one, hardware input two, hardware input three. These are your microphones or uh, a microphone, an audio point, and possibly another microphone. You can just select your microphone. If you click on the thing, you can select your microphone. If you right mouse button, you can call that microphone. You can call hardware input two uh, desktop audio. There you go. All right, so these are your microphone inputs. This is a virtual input, and this is your hardware out. This uh, hardware out, you can set it to A1, A1, and that's on my speakers. And then if I press this button, it sends this microphone in to my speakers. So this all goes to my speakers. All, all the things that have checked A1 go to my speakers. My desktop audio, I have, this is a advanced, I have set that to go to my speakers, which is what I want, but now I can also modulate that. For your microphone, you want to probably up the gate a little bit, basically makes it so that it doesn't pick up the background noise as much. I don't think you hear it because in OBS I also have a filter over it, so I always have that set to 3.8, you will have to manually see when this bar drops to zero after you've spoken. Ah, 3.4 for me. And then you want to set your uh, IntelliPan to like somewhere here. You can test that by having it output to your speakers by turning this thing on. You can hear your voice change with what you're doing so you can check that more easily but it's super annoying. So turn that off for when you're making videos. To reset anything you've done, just double click on things you want to reset. Uh, you can set other hardware outs and that's A2 and A3 and it goes the same. And then what you want to do is set these to B1 and B2. And then this is your voice meter VIO and that's what you want to set your mic input in OBS to. So here's my OBS. And then you want to set your properties of your mic to voice meter aux output and then that should send your mic to voice meter aux output so i can increase my volume here as well i can increase treble bass uh, i can put it to the front rear right and left it's pretty it's it's not necessary but you can do everything with it now if you want discord sounds or internal like internal sounds like i don't know videos or music uh, to go also through this mixer and also like to the outputs you can download a virtual cable a virtual cable basically is a is an audio point that um, works as a microphone but you can play your audio to it I currently have that set up um, so but you just download this and then you install the drivers for the cable output and then you can set it here as a, as an audio point. When you have that audio point plug, you can set that to either B1 or B2. So now it will output over my mic. I will show that with my... This goes over my mic. And if you turn it off, you can also do that. Uh, wait, if you turn it off to go on your mic, you can set it to to output on your speakers, which you can still hear 
because in OBS I have both my speakers and my desktop audio recorded. But you can see it happening here. And that's how you set up basically internal sound so you can do either your control cast or uh, I know Spotify. So that's what you can do with voice meter. You can also modulate that sound. So if you have it on your Discord, in your Discord settings, You can set your aux in to voice meter aux output, which basically is this thing, like this thing, and you send your microphone through it. So it's your modulated voice that you send into Discord so people can hear it. And then what you want to have out of that is your cable input because your cable input goes through voice meter to your speaker. This is also how you can have your friends talk in a voice chat. And if their mics are crappy, you can easily fix that a little to have your audio work you need to set your playback device to cable input to do that you can you search for sound and you go to change system sounds and then this thing you can do playback and you can set this cable input as default device now it will instantly switch but if you have everything set up like this like you set the audio, the cable input, you set here, and then it goes out to your speakers, you should be fine. And then you're going to use your cable input, the one that I have here, as your standard instead of your speakers. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you want to ask me stuff, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, 7.30 to 11.30 CEST. You can find me here. Or you can join the Discord, ask me stuff on Twitter, do whatever. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.